So, how many of you start your day off with a crock pot? I seldomly do this, maybe once a month or so. My husband is not a fan of food coming out of the crock pot. But today we're going to give it another try. I always like to start my dish with some onions in the crock pot. I don't know why, it's just something I do. And look at the center of those onions. They're just getting a little bit. Anyways, I like to always have onions in my meat dish in the crock pot. And today is Hungarian beef stew or goulash. Hungarian goulash beef stew. There we go. So I'm going to start with some onions. I'm going to get these to soften. Then I'm going to add some garlic. And as of lately, oh, come on. As of lately, I've been using this garlic paste, and I absolutely love it. I don't have to cut it up. I just squeeze it in, and voila. The girl has come downstairs, and she's having some breakfast, aren't you? She's having some waffles, and that's her, what is that? Syrup. Her syrup, she just dips them in. Instead of putting the syrup all over the waffles, they just dip. And some pomegranate seeds, and a geraniums. Is that a good breakfast? That's a yum breakfast. Hey. Excuse my yawning. But now we're going to move on to the meat portion of this uh, dish, which I am using um, some just, what do you call this, beef stew, cut, cubed up. We're going to have some pepper, paprika, and I forgot to get the salt. Let's grab the salt. And some kosher salt. So what I'm going to do is put a lot of paprika in here, some salt, and some pepper. Then put the meat in, shake it up, and then do a little bit of browning. And, and here is a look at our paprika encrusted beef stew uh, browning here in the skillet. Um, oh, I should probably cut that piece in half. But anyways, it's going to just brown for two minutes on each side, and then I will throw it in the crock pot for a low for about eight hours. While that meat is browning really quick, I'm going to add maybe not even quite a cup of chicken broth and half of this can of tomato paste to the crock pot um, so that the meat can cook in that for the next eight I'm going to go ahead and deglaze this pan and put that in the crock pot as well. There's a lot of flavor down there. So I'm going to go ahead and work on deglazing this with just a little bit of water. And when you deglaze a pan, it also helps with cleanup because you see this here isn't even anything that's stuck. It will just wipe right off. So, whenever you're cooking in a skillet, always think to glaze it while it's deglaze it. Is that right? While it's still hot, and it will help. Here's a look up. of everything before I put the lid on it. Um, it's not a lot in there. It's probably just an inch worth. But Eric and I will be the only one that eats this. The kids will just probably eat the noodles. But anyways, this is tonight's dinner. We're going to cover it. Once you put that lid on, do not remove it until the last half an hour of cooking to check it. It's important, important, important that you're not constantly taking the lid off your slow cooker when you're cooking. Um, it really messes with the process. I have learned over time. Tip from somebody. All right, with the so we just got all our school done and I just got out of the shower, got a little bit of makeup on, got dressed. So we're heading to a couple Walmart. of... Walmart's one of them. Um, we're going to go first to the produce market in town. I need to get a lot of produce, and instead of getting it off a of peapot, I'm just going to go to that produce market. They have a good selection, so I want to go with that. Excuse me, I'm going to change hands. And then after that, I want to run by Ross. We need to pick up a few things for an upcoming vacation. So, um, clothes-wise, so I'm going to get that there, or try to find some stuff there. And then we're going to slide into Walmart. And I'm going to go ahead and do my grocery shopping at Walmart this week. I have been using the Peapod delivery service. But since I'm going to be at Walmart and I got quite a few things to get, I'm going to just go ahead and buy the groceries there and um, get that done and not have to worry about that for the rest of the week. And it is pretty chilly. Um, let's find out how... Alexa, how cold is it in Chicago right now? In Chicago, Illinois, it's 20 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can look for cold temperatures with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. So there's where we are right now. Temperature wise, we are at 20 degrees, which sounds to be the high today. It is, the sun is shining, but when the sun is shining, um, which is great, it also makes for very, very, very cold temperatures because the clouds aren't here to hold in a little bit of heat. So we're going to head out and we will check back in either while we're out shopping or when we get home and we will share everything. Hi friends, we're back. Didn't video record while we were there. 
it was freezing outside. And when I say freezing, wind chill made it eight degrees, which is so cold. It's really cold for December here. I don't think it generally gets this cold in December. But I ended up going to four stores. We went to the, um, what's yeah. that? Peter Ruby. We went to the fruit market. Oh my gosh, the, uh, veg the produce market. That's what it's called. Can't get it out, Aj. My tongue is still frozen and it's like not working right. We went to the produce market, then we went to Ross, and there wasn't a lot of luck at Ross, and I didn't, generally, Ross doesn't have anything I like, but I thought, okay, I'll check it out to see what if I could find what I was looking for. Could not, so then I went to Marshall's, found a couple of things there that I was looking for, um, picked those up, and then afterwards we went to Walmart. Unfortunately, in the middle of Walmart, we had a meltdown, and I just wanted to get out of there, so I really didn't get the grocery hey. shopping done to the extent hey. that I wanted to get done. Just a second, please. I am talking. You can talk next. Anyway, we had a meltdown, so I just grabbed a few essentials, got out of there, and looks like we will do a Peapod order this week. My hair is everywhere. I'm sorry, and it's driving me nuts flip-flopping on the side of my head. Time. So we're going to go ahead and share with you everything we got. We're going to start here with See Walmart. here, there's not a great deal. It's mainly junk. Yes. But we were in a rush, and after the meltdown, right, Maddie? We had a little meltdown in the store. Why do we get him in? We picked some things up. So, Colin and Audrey wanted some Cheetos. They were walking by. They picked it up. Got yeah. Eric some Cape Cod chips. Dad um, those. Yep. So, I went ahead and got those. Milk, which was quick and easy. We needed some more Pop-Tarts. So hey. I just went ahead and grabbed the Giant That's Box. That's movie again. Yeah, and then got some more Daddy cereal, which is the Honey Bunches of Oats with Strawberries. Got the kids some marsh or some cereals, and of course, cereal is definitely more cheaper at Walmart than it is through Peapod. So I just went ahead and got these giant ones here. We have the marshmallow mateys, which is AKA what are these? Um, Lucky, Charms. Lucky Charms, yes. And we have these tutti fruities, which is AKA what are those fruit, loops? fruit Loops. We needed some applesauce. I got myself two salads to eat this week. The kids some pizzas. I needed, this was a must have today, which is the printer ink. I have to print out worksheets for the kids' school, and I was totally out of black ink, so I had to get that. Got this large thing of cheese, which is a really good buy at Walmart, so I went ahead and picked that up. Yeah, nice splurge and got some M&M's. We have some Eggo waffles and some of the mini pancakes back there. Colin needed some undershirts. So I got him a pack of three undershirts. And while we were there, the kids picked up some jummies. They're growing. Yes, the kids are growing. So we picked up some jummies. Whose is the lamb one belong to? Maddie. So this is Maddie. It's got these cute little um, polka dot. Fuzzy pants. So this is Maddie's. Yes, you know, my favorite animal cat. Yes, Audrey's favorite animal is cats. Can you tell? Can you possibly look at her and not realize it's not cats? Look at her keys. <laughs> and then also, the girls needed some snow pants. They've been out playing in the snow, and um, unfortunately, after we didn't buy any last year. It's been a couple years, and the ones they had were a size 4T, which is a good six inches too short. So we needed some new ones. Uh, these are the ones we picked up for Audrey. They're just the Walmart brand. And I got these for her in a size 6, 6X. Decent price on these, which was twenty or $17.97. And then here is the Pixis pajamas. Hers is this cute little cat with the blue bow. That's my nickname. Yes, and here are these. All right, girls, you can go put these on. I know they've been wanting to get them put on. And here is Colin's pajamas. He just has a Batman, Robin, and Superman Lego pajamas. He really enjoys the uh, Lego superheroes. So that is what he picked out. And this is what I got at Walmart's. And I also got some more stuff, but it's for a video to watch over on the Lori Mayo channel. It's going to be a really fun right, video about Walmart. And the girls went ahead and tried on their pajamas. Of course, they couldn't wait very long. And there's Maddie and her cute jammies. And Audrey, and we got a big roll going on. We bought them plenty big. I always like to get I always like to get a few years out of the pajamas. It's okay if they're too big and it's okay if they're a little short. You can always get two or three years out of pajamas. Okay. She just threw my cucumber. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that girl. <laughs> Alright, so 
this is what we got at the produce market. I'll go over this really quick. I spent uh, $30 there. So let's look at everything we got. First, we started here with the strawberries. Um, I know it's not the season right now, but these were two for $3, which is a really good buy. Colin will eat strawberries any time of the year, even if they're not particularly super sweet, but I went ahead and bought those. These um, tomatoes were, you bought two of these packages for $3, so I only bought one, which is $1.50. I bought some snap peas here to snack on. This bag of potatoes, I think, was $2.99. The cucumbers were two for a dollar, or three, they were three for a dollar, but I only wanted two because I knew I would only get two eight before they would go bad. Um, they had this pineapple salsa on sale for $1.99, and I also picked up just some regular salsa. I got these chips there. I actually get the price of those. Got a head of cabbage. I think I'm going to make some cabbage soup this week. A couple of Granny Smith apples to munch on, and then all of these kiwis were in a basket, and the entire basket was a dollar, so we picked those up. Bananas. And we got some bananas. So that's everything we picked up at the produce market. Look at everything we bought at TJ Maxx and uh, Ross. And I only bought one thing at Ross, and it's these little socks called Candy Girl. And they were $3. It's two uh, larger size socks. Pix like them. She needs some socks that she can wear with her boots. So those are for the picks, right? Now, all of this is from TJ Maxx. And I might have said Marshalls earlier. I always say the mix up those things. But TJ Maxx, Marshalls, almost the same thing. So we got this hat and gloves for the picks. And you'll see here, the picks likes flashy stuff. And this is definitely a flashy hat. <laughs> And this is Colin's hat. He got this. This is a Nike um, hat. He likes these ones that stick real close to your head like his daddy wears. And then Maddie picked herself up a Nike hat too. And it's just your typical toboggan with the top. And it's pink and it comes with pink gloves. These gloves um, are fine to wear like when we're going in and out of stores. But they are not good when you're wanting to play in the snow. Their hands will be soaked. Also picked up Doogie some of these um, Climate Smart baseline layer clothes to wear underneath his stuff when he plays outside. He tends to be the one that plays twice as long as the girls outside, so I wanted to get him some extra wear there. I wanted to get myself a new notebook, so I did. I want to keep some notes it. on some stuff. That's right, you did find it for Mommy, and it was $4.99. I seen this while I was waiting in line and it says happy wife happy life and I say this to my husband all the time I once a week I'm always telling him if you have a happy wife you will have a happy life so I thought I would get him the mug to give him even more of a reminder and then they had these um, towels dish towels here and this one says Mrs. always right and then the other one says Mr. right I just thought those were cute, and so I picked those up because they were clearance hey. for five fifty. So I got that, and then Maddie got her snow pants at TJ Maxx, and we were able to get her some North Face, which will match her jacket. It's not the same color, but they do wear the North Face stuff, and this was a pretty good deal. North Face. Uh, snow, sorry the beeper is going off there. North Face Snow Skier is generally pretty expensive and we were able to get this clearance for $32 and what if you went to North Face, yeah, it'd be about $100 for these. So those are Maddie's pants and so that's everything we picked up today, right children? Mine. Yeah. And here's a quick look at those dish towels on my stove. <laughs> They're so cute. And they're really nice dish towels, too. They're nice, thick ones. And here is a look at that Hungarian goulash beef stew. All I did was made up some egg noodles and uh, put some stew over it. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner. Okay. Well, wasn't a lot to the vlog today. Cooking and shopping. But, hey, it's something. Right now I got that song. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. All through my mind right now. <sighs> Rolling Stones moment. So anyways, we're going to call it an end of the day. Um, and I will uh, catch you again on another video. Talk to everybody later. Bye.